welcome to Infinite Sky. So for today's pick a card reading, we will be looking at when you're going to meet your future spouse or your future soulmate. So this reading will be very short and specific. We're just going to look at the specific time frame when it is going to happen. So that's why we have uh, many piles. Uh, we have six piles today. This is pile one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to show all the crystals and objects up close. So this is pile one. This is pile two. This is pile three. This is pile four. This is pile five. And this is pile number six. So pause the video right now and focus on one crystal that you feel the most drawn to. And once you have chosen your crystal or the object, go to the timestamps which are in the description box or the comment section below. So you can fast forward to your personal reading. I am open for personal readings. If you're interested, you can visit my website which is infinitesky.eu. All information is in the description box below. Hello, pile number one. You have chosen this object. Can't focus. <laughs> so this is going to be your reading. It will be the short one. Uh, so we are only we are only going to look uh, when you're going to meet your future spouse, future soulmate, and at what time like what is your energy during the time when you will meet them okay so let's get into this so we have a very good card vaccine moon the energy is gaining momentum so this is a very positive card uh, it is a promising card to get because uh, it means that you are on the right track for meeting your future soulmate, your future spouse. They are coming. So it is reassurance from your spirit guides that they are coming. You are on the right track. Everything that you do is good. You are doing everything right. So uh, an energy is gaining momentum is like you are preparing to meet them. You are preparing to meet them and uh, if you feel like you can do something to find him, do it. Or if you don't, then don't. Like it's not saying, it doesn't say nothing about whether or not you should take action. But it's, it just says like listen to your intuitive voice more and you will get what you want. You will get your desired uh, outcome. Also, we have new moon in Aquarius. So you might meet them at the Aquarius season. So Aquarius season is on January 20 to February 18th. Okay, so it might be a um, those months when you will meet your future spouse. And also we have 10 months from now. So this is a timeless reading take it how it resonates but it means like 10 months from now whenever you are watching this reading now let's look into your energy into the energy when you will meet your future spouse so i think that you will be overthinking this situation a lot you will be spending a lot of time thinking whether or not you will be meeting uh, them or not if, if there is going to happen if there is ever going to happen you will be losing hope of meeting your future spouse 
also your heart is like so exhausted you feel so exhausted from the emotional pain that you felt in the past from the spiritual lessons that you need to learn from the previous painful experiences you're so over everything you will be yeah you you are like devil in reverse means that your shadow tendencies are um, reduced the inertia of the karmic patterns are not so strong so you might already know your shadow tendencies you might you will be in the place of your life when you feel like you already know uh, that you are not perfect human being you have your flaws you know what your flaws is you know your psychological patterns but also there is nothing you can do about it um, there is no more healing done or you feel exhausted to do any more healing and basically you you are not if you had any habits or any you know negative habits like smoking drinking addictions those addictions will be gone or at least you will be fully aware of of the addictions that you have uh, or you will be in control of your addictions or in control of your shadow tendencies okay take it how it resonates if you don't have any addictions it's more speaking about the shadow tendencies the negative you know aspects of yourself that you feel in control you feel like you know yourself yeah and you will be overthinking the whole life of yours you will be thinking like am i on the right path or not because i don't see any signs of them coming into my life and that's when you meet your future soulmate so thank you for watching and see you next time bye hello pal number two you have chosen this crystal so this is your reading about when you're going to meet your future spouse or future soulmate these two are time cards so let's see so we have full moon in Pisces and we have in a few weeks that's very soon so you might meet your future spouse in Pisces season so it is from February 18th to I'm sorry February 19th to March 2021 I think I'm not sure uh, but it's just the end of the February and the beginning of the March around those months if it happens that you're watching this reading and few weeks align with Pisces season so few weeks um, in a few weeks it will be a Pisces season will start then it means like this is an extra confirmation that you might meet your future spouse on that particular day on those particular you know time frame uh, if not then take it how it resonates okay take it how it resonates Pisces season might be very significant in your meeting now let's see in what energy you will be when you will meet your future spouse okay so we have uh, another beautiful card which says blossoming so you will be blossoming literally you will be feeling that you came out of very dark period of time you overcame so many obstacles so many lessons that you became different different person more mature version of you you are ready to be in love you actually you feel in love with life because the ace of cups is always speaking about the new emotional beginning and it's it's like a feeling that you're in love with life in love with everything 
around you, you feel like the worst is over and you're ready to face life, you're, you're ready to enjoy your life, okay? Uh, and it will be a period of time when you are done healing, you're already done with your negative emotions, you released every negativity from your body and from your consciousness you feel ready you feel ready to fall in love so this is this was your energy and this was your reading so thank you for watching and see you next time bye hello pile number three you have chosen this crystal so this is going to be your reading about when you're going to meet your future spouse so this reading will be very short and to the point so first, we are just looking the exact time frame when you're going to meet your future spouse. We have four months and we have full moon in Libra. A win-win outcome is a forecast. Very nice energies, very positive, amazing. So um, you might meet your future spouse in Libra season which is September 23 to October 22. So, okay, right now when I'm filming this, it's July, um, so let me see. August, September, October is three months. So, it could be um, actually in four months, actually in four months, you might meet your soulmate in four months because the Libra season is after three months. So four and three is very similar uh, time frame. Uh, but if it doesn't resonate and if it's too soon that it might happen during the next year, next season of Libra, okay? If you're watching, of course, right now, it might resonate because Libra season is very soon, but uh, this is a timeless reading. So if you are happen to watch this uh, reading um, later, then take it how it resonates. It might resonate for month, it might resonate Libra season, but it's very soon. It's very, very soon. Let's look into your tarot cards and see the overall energy when you're going to meet your future spouse. Very nice energy. So you will be getting a lot of compliments. If you're exercising, you will start to see the results of your on your body. That your body is very physically fit. You feel confident. Your confidence levels are growing. You just feel very beautiful and sexy and... Um, yeah, you will attract your soulmate by your energy, by this confidence, by your, you know, by your light. You will be emanating this confidence out of you that a lot of people will, will be magnetically attracted to you. And they will think that you are very attractive. <laughs> and you will be planning your life regardless of when if you meet your future spouse or not you will be um, finishing the cycle of feeling alone depressed angry upset and angry because you're alone you will be ending the cycle and you will be feeling like finally i'm good on my own i can enjoy life even if it's not fully enjoying because two of uh, ones is not speaking about the full, you know, completion and full enjoyment of life, but it's speaking about the just general like sense of satisfaction. It is satisfaction, not complete happiness, not you know, com uh, complete harmony with yourself, but it's just satisfaction, okay? And you will not be focused on feelings of. Uh, loneliness that's when you meet your future soulmate future spouse so that was your reading thank you for watching and see you next time bye hello pile number four 
So if you have chosen those objects, those crystals, uh, there are multiple of them. This is your reading about when you're going to meet your future spouse. So I think that um, there is a reason why you chose this pile. And you chose multiple crystals. You were drawn to multiple crystals because there are multiple timelines when you can meet your future spouse. And sometimes this situation is more complicated than you might think. So the timelines are a very interesting subjects to study and to get into because timelines are always changing. And when it comes to relationships, um, uh, there are a lot of factors um, affecting the, the best possible timeline or just a time frame in general. So your energy is affecting the moment when you meet your future spouse. Also their energy is affecting and also the general energy of you, like the between uh, energy between you two is also affecting the meeting itself. So, you know, uh, in your case, there is a very multifaceted situation here. And you've got the most cards of any of the piles. Uh, so I'm feeling multiple timelines here. Let's see. And all of those cards are representing the seasons of the possible meeting of your future spouse. So we have Leo season, we have Sagittarius season and Capricorn season. So, and we also have 11, 11 months from now. So take it how it resonates because it is a timeless reading. It doesn't matter when you find, found this video, it might resonate with uh, current moment, with your current situation. So Leo season is on July, from July 23 to August 22. Sagittarius season is from November 22 to December 21. And uh, after Sagittarius season goes Capricorn season, which is on December 22 and January 19th. Okay, so you might meet your soulmate um, during the months of November, December, and January. This is the most um, possible scenario. But also, uh, if you find, if you think that uh, for you it more like feels the more time has to pass, so it might happen during the next season, you know, the next date, um, not the approaching season, but uh, the next year and the next season of Leo, Sagittarius or Capricorn. So take it how it resonates and especially take it to consideration if 11 months is corresponding and aligning to any of those months. So 11 months from now, quickly count when when this is going to happen and then see if it is aligning with Leo season, Sagittarius and Capricorn. And if it is, then it is extra confirmation that this is the possible, the most possible time frame for your meeting. And now let's see your tarot cards, um, which represents the overall energy when you meet your future spouse. So we have magician in reverse. Okay, Magician and Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. So, for me, it's about your inability to take risks. Okay, we also have take risks. So, you will be presented with opportunity to change your life in some way. Like, it could be in a work environment, it could be money situation, could be relocating to a different city, different country, you know, and you might be unwilling to do this change because it might sound very scary to you, 
you might think that this is a, it requires to make a big leap of faith that you're not willing to do. And, but you feel like if you will not change your life in this very big way, you might feel stuck and the universe will push you to make this change. Okay, it might be related to your career or or money or relocation situation. But it's making you stuck. It's making you feel stuck that you are not able to move. Okay, so around that time you will meet your future spouse. spouse when you will be making a lot of changes and uncomfortable changes. Uncomfortable and uh, big changes that requires for you to be very bold and courageous and taking a risk. So that's how you will meet your future spouse. Thank you for watching. This reading was very short, but hopefully you enjoy it. Bye. Hello, pile number five. So you have chosen this crystal. This is going to be your reading about when you're going to meet your future spouse. So let's see your time card and then we will look at your tarot cards, which represents the energy that you will be in when you will meet your future spouse. Oh, we have it already happened. New moon in Sagittarius. Nourishment. Let's look at your tarot and just let me look at your energies. So, it's very simple. You already met your future spouse, but you are not aware that you already met them. It might be that this is someone from your past. Um, I'm feeling for the most of you, uh, for the most of you, it's actually your ex, okay? Uh, let me clarify. So it's someone that you have a lot of chemistry with, okay? This is someone that you already met. It could be from your past, it could be your ex-partner, or it could be your friend in your environment. You already know this person, but maybe you don't have a relationship with them, a strong relationship. So take it how it resonates, but you already met them. And you are, have, you are the one who should make the first move here. Because the Knight of Swords is about the quick movement quick action towards the goal so you must do something to get this person attention you must show that you like them you must be uh, you must take action you know you must do something um, and you have to contemplate and really feel intuitively what I'm speaking and to know who is this person but I think that you already know but you just have to think it think about it one more time and see if it resonates and you also have judgment in reverse so judgment is about not seeing the situation clearly so right now you're confused right now you don't see the situation clearly how it could be that I met my future soulmate, I'm my future spouse, I'm sorry. You're not believing your eyes. You're not believing the signs that you've got from the universe. But start to believe, start to see the signs. Start to, you know, see the situation clearly. It depends on you, how you will take it. You can take this relationship to the next level. It's up to you how you will... Um, how you will approach the situation and luck is on your side so you're the lucky one you don't have to wait no longer waiting like you already met the person of your dreams um, 
and nourishment with coupled with the four of swords in reverse it feels like you have to make time for yourself and to decide what you want for your love life um, to give that self-love and self-care that you need right now because you're not spending um, enough time by yourself and you must be um, more in, in a more relaxed state of mind. You must relax, you must rest. There's a feeling of exhaustion and fear, feeling of um, just being overwhelmed, okay, with the situation or with within yourself. Like you feel that you exhausted your energy, you wasted your energy and you feel tired. So you must rest and you must charge your energy. So that was your reading. It was really short but to the point and hopefully you like it and see you next time. Bye. Hello pal number six. So welcome to your reading. You have chosen this white crystal. Uh, you might have been drawn to some piles that are, I don't know, either is pile two or pile three. I don't remember, but um, those piles had the same two cards, fit body and complement. Okay, so I think that when you will meet your future spouse, uh, you will be taking care of yourself and you will be... Um, you will have the body that you always dreamt about, that fit body, you will be physically fit, you will feel that you have a lot of energy and a lot of people will give you compliments. Okay, so there is a need to be very clear about what you want to attract, okay? We have the timeline for you, which is five years from now. So you might meet your future soulmate, your future spouse in five years, okay? Now listen, I know it's a lot of time. I know there's, it's not something that you want to hear, but listen and please just hear me out. So we have the devil cards and devil is always speaking about the addictions or the shadow tendencies that you have. So, five years from now, it's according to your current energy. Right now, you're not manifesting your future spouse. You're not on the right track. You must do something differently. There's a lot of pain. There's a strong pain body in you. There's a pain in you. There is a need for you to move on from this pain. Okay, and coupled with the devil, it means like there is a long way to go. And this long way is about self-reflection, about healing, about taking control of your life. Okay, you might do, you might already do those things, but you might not see how far away you are from the best version that you want to be and that you will be in the five years from now or a couple of years from now. Okay, so I am, um, I am drawn for you to pull more cards because I know it's a very frustrating message to get this timeline. Okay, what your spirit guides want to tell you? I think that you're doing too much. You're focusing on time too much. Just relax, relax, take a deep breath. Don't focus on time anymore. Um, so the person that you will be in a relationship with, they will be matching with your inner child, okay? So to have someone like that, to have this pure innocent connection that you will have, you must open up your inner child and you must connect with your inner child. And that requires a lot of time and that requires a lot of effort and it's not done 
you know, one day, uh, like, even if you're done, if you, even if you healed yourself, even if you reflected upon yourself, there's still a lot more going on than you can see right now. And it takes time. And it takes time. So right now it's very important for you to be patient and to not focus on time. Uh, I think that you have a soul contract with this person. You are sharing this infinite bond with them and you decided on a soul level to meet them when you will be prepared emotionally, spiritually, physically. Okay, even physically. Because we have fit body, like we have the mindset, the right mindset of yours should be aligned because you wanted someone that is amazing. You wanted someone that is so compatible, so, you know, the right match for you. And you wanted to work on yourself before, before you meet someone like that. You cannot get someone that is super amazing person, super con compatible with you if you not work on yourself. And uh, I think that, you, again, like you should not focus on time. Um, there is an infinite bond with you. Try to focus on that timeless self and try to focus... Try to release any time frames, okay? Because time is very fluid. Time is very fluid and you can change the timelines every day. It doesn't mean that you have to uh, meet, your future, meet your future spouse in a five years from now, okay? It doesn't have to be. It's just at the time that is related to your current energy. You are manifesting this right now. Like this timeline is manifesting if you will stay the same. If you if you don't do anything. But if you do something, I think the timeline for you, it will be uh, much, you know, you will manifest your soulmate in uh, faster and sooner. I think that... Um, you might have to work through some commitment issues as well. Um, if you get your soulmate right now, if you meet them right now, you will not be able to commit. And this person is really committed, but you are not. Right now, like on a subconscious level, I'm not saying like consciously. I'm not saying that you're not committed to someone on purpose and that you are not loyal person. I'm just saying that you might sabotage this relationship if you get them too soon. If you meet them too soon, you might sabotage this relationship, okay? So that's why you have to wait for some time. Even if it is a couple of years, several years from now, you might to wait. You might have to wait. The last message for you, pile number six. Five of Cups. There are some soul contracts, karmic soul contracts to, that you must cut cords with. There are some people around you. Um, if you didn't have any karmic relationships, unfortunately, you have to experience one before you meet your future soulmate. Because this person is completely free of any karmic shit. Like he is or he or she, they are they are very pure soul. And to meet someone like that, you should purify your soul as well. So I'm seeing that you will meet a karmic partner if you didn't meet this person before, the karmic partner, before you meet your future soulmate. But if you already met someone like that, it means like you need to cut cords with them to finish this relationship, to completely... Uh, disengage with them emotionally, energetically, on every level. And then you will start to manifest uh, them, your future spouse. But if you never had a relationship before, it means that you will experience some karmic challenges with people. Um, and you might have ex to experience some karmic relationships before you meet your future spouse. This is the soul contract that your soul wanted to experience. Your higher self chose this experience, okay? 
So not the best message. I'm so sorry, but it is what it is. Thank you and bye.